Okay, all right. The objective of this demo is to show you the proper way of dropping calcaline powder and in preparing calcaline water. Because many people confuse what do I mean by uh, one drop or one droplets of calcaline water. So here I want to show you the proper way to drop the calcaline powder so that you get a consistent uh, pH of calcaline water. So and here I have a 500 ml uh, bottle and this is one liter bottle and this is 1.5. Uh, liter water and these are new uh, drinking water I we I got I, I bought it from the supermarket I removed the label and first I will test the pH before and then I will test you uh, I will show you the pH after I add calcaline water so and in general uh, because in the instruction of the box I, I show that one droplet is for 300 ml so milliliters 300 milliliters so uh, for 500 ml is approximately two droplets so for five, for one liter is four droplets and for 1.5 liter is six droplets All right let's start by by showing the the ph so i pour a little bit of of um, the water before adding calcaline and this is one liter okay i pour a bit i will show you the ph that and okay and this is 1.5 liter i show you the ph okay i have start the ph meter okay ph meter and this is the probe this is the temperature probe and this is the the ph probe so you can see the ph is going up it will stay around around um around seven because it's neutral, it's, um, it's, it's, most of drinking water is neutral. So here is about 6.9, closing 7. I just want to prove it to you, the water is new and it's, it's not alkaline initially. And it's around 7 as well. And for this one as well. And the pH is, is about 7. This one is maybe it's a mineral water, the pH is slightly higher, it's mild, mild, a little mild alkaline. Right, so you get an idea of the pH before adding calcaline. All right, now let's take uh, one bottle of calcaline from one box of calcaline contains six bottles of calc calcaline, a small bottle of calcaline. All right, okay, put it here. Okay, for 500 ml, just now I mentioned, for 500 milliliters, you just squeeze two drops. So uh, wash carefully I how I squeeze it. It's not like tapping is too little. So you need to apply some force in squeezing the, the soft bottle. So um, this is how I squeeze and one squeeze, two squeeze. Okay, sometimes you see a bit blockage so you have to tap a little bit. All right, every time before you, you, you want to squeeze it, you tap a little bit so, uh, some, uh, so there's no blockage here. So and then force drop one, two, three, four okay and then this is six drop one two three four five six six drop so uh, with this ratio you will get the water ph around 10 to 11. so now i, I gently shake it and this one become calcaline water already of high ph and high antioxidant okay okay now i take away this thing all right, I take away, I take this away. Okay, okay. Now I pour, this is um, a new, this is the calcaline water already. I pour half glass here, and then I pour half glass here. So because we are following the ratio, so the pH across these three glasses of water should be consistent around 10 to 11. So the minor minor variation, which is negligible, but important is the pH is considered high pH, which is more than more than ten. All right, now I drop the probe here, so you can see the pH is going up. Okay, see it gonna just the the the, the sensor it gonna takes a while to sense it. All right, you can see the pH is going up. All right. this is climbing okay can you see the pH so it's 10 10.2 just in case it blocks you can you see the reading all right um, is 10.6 10.7 okay 
and then now I move on to the second glass. pH 11. All right, 11.2 is still going up. All right, and then this one, the pH. So it's 11. So 11.8 is growing more than 12. Close to 12, pH close to 12. And then I go back to the first one. Right, the pH is about 11 to 12. Perhaps I squeeze uh, a bit too much, but it's okay, it's negative. Don't worry about too high the pH because in general, people thought the pH, high pH should be around 9 and 10 and 11 or 12 is a super high pH. No, actually, you, you don't have, because this is not the chemical alkaline. A chemical alkaline is like your, your big, it's like baking soda or your washing powder. When you touch it, it's slimy. But when you touch the alkaline water, you touch, it's not slimy. So it's not, it's not, it's not the chemical alkalinity. This is the, uh, because it's an ionized mineral. The pH is a result of the ionization of the minerals, that ionized mineral that changes the structure of the water and, and it's safe to drink. And it's very powerful in extracting acid out of your body. So the pH is up close to 12. It's uh, even much stronger than the popular ionized alkaline water that produced through the machine. So that's to show you that's the right way to prepare calcaline water and it's strong and you will enjoy the benefit of drinking this high alkaline water. Alright, thank you.